It's time to update your classes on Modern Warfare 3 Ranked Play. I have an MCW that has zero recoil, and I have an MCW build that's focused on speed. The Striker might be the best submachine gun in the game, but the trusty rival has some classes as well. And with the updated map pool, it's time to switch around some perks. Starting with my personal favorite, the best gun in the game, the MCW that is focused solely on recoil control. With the new Jack Glassless optic, along with these attachments you see on the screen, you barely have to compensate for any recoil. You can see it on the screen. It looks like I'm cheating, I'll admit. Bring the hackizations on, because once you actually try this class, you'll see why it looks like that. We don't know yet if this new optic is going to be allowed in the pro league, but we do know it's allowed in ranked play currently, so make sure you use it because it eliminates a lot of that extra visual recoil. That's the same focus that the billeted brake on the muzzle has, but I also switched out the stock for the Warforged Precision stock. That's actually a change I made myself without anyone else mentioning it. I'm not sure how many other people actually use that stock. That's something that makes this class very unique, and I feel like it's the best MCW that you're able to put together. By hitting only one headshot, this gun boasts a ridiculous TTK of 252 milliseconds. And even without hitting a headshot, you're going to be killing people with only five bullets using the most accurate weapon in the game. I can guarantee you two things if you use this class. It will break you out of any slump if you're having a bad game, and everybody's going to be asking you for the loadout. And you can hit that share button and send them this video if you want to help them out. It would help me out a lot. As a fan of 100 Thieves, two of my favorite players of all time are Optic Kenny and FaZe Draza from their Thieves days. Both of them run the flex role for two of the best teams in the league, so what's a good flex assault rifle? What's a quicker build for this MC? I have the perfect one, the right amount of speed with still having that easy to control recoil. The first thing you're going to swap out is the muzzle and instead of putting the T51R ability to break, you're going to swap out for the Zem 35 compensator. Replace the FTAC underbarrel with this X10 and instead of the stock, you're going to want to put on the RB Rapid Strike rear grip. As you can see on the screen, this gun is incredibly fast while still being very accurate and I was able to do a lot of different plays around the map, switching things up to not only have more fun myself, but to also make it a lot more difficult on my opponents to predict. Here's a chart breaking down the different speeds between the first MCW build and now this one. And just remember that the lower the number, the faster that you are. So the second MCW has a much, much faster ADS time, ADS move time, and a bit of a faster crouch speed. It also has a much faster sprint to fire. So when you factor all those things in, take a look at this graph. The red line represents the TTK for the first MCW. And then the yellow or orange line represents the second MCW's TTK when you factor in the sprint to fire delay. So technically the faster MCW will kill faster. It has less forgiving recoil and it's not going to be as easy to get these kills from a distance but if you run into someone who runs the normal regular mcw build and you're using this one fair gunfight where you both hit your shots you will most likely win that because you have an almost entire millisecond faster ttk it's kind of overpowered when you break down the numbers and it's been my favorite build to use this season so far in ranked because it just gives you so many different play styles to utilize and now for the striker class now this gun has received a buff since the beginning of ranked play and that's why you've seen a lot more people using it it's actually technically better than the rival statistically, but there's a different feel for the rival and you feel like when you use the rival you have a bit more consistency. But if you do like the striker's feel or maybe the way it looks or its iron sights or anything like that more than the rival, then give it a try. Now this is the build I came up with if you're not going to be using a sight on it. I personally can't use these iron sights. I just, I, I lose my target. I can't see where they go because there's just a giant ring around the iron sights. I can't imagine why anyone would like that, but if that's something you're comfortable with, try this build out here. But if not, you're going to want to swap out the recon long barrel for the jack glassless optic. That's personally what I've been running. And I actually, I think it plays really good. Now you could swap out one of the attachments if you want to keep the barrel on, but this is just what I've been using. So the Zem flash hider, the X10 Phantom 5, the Saken ZX grip, the Crotalus assault stock, and then of course that glassless optic. And this gun, look, it plays really fast. It has a fast TTK. You're able to kill people from a distance if you're able to hit your shots. The recoil pattern is pretty forgiving, but not as forgiving as that of the rival. But it, it is something different to use because you, we're kind of limited and ranked. There's no snipers. There's only one assault rifle. There's no LMGs, marksman rifles, battle rifles, none of that. So the submachine guns are the only way you could really switch it up. And this is the only one that actually kind of can compete with the rival and maybe even outclass it. Looking at this graph, the red line is actually the rival and it's going to outgun the striker 9 all the way up to 10 meters but once you get from 10 to about 20 to 25 meters the rival is going to get outgunned by now the striker 9 so it's kind of a different option for maybe a flex type of weapon but you're going to lose to any mcw if someone knows how to shoot their gun straight and if they're using the class that i gave you in this video you're going to struggle a lot against them the striker 9 has much higher bullet velocity but slower ads time and the fire rate on the rival is higher as well which makes it again a bit more for giving. I'd say a striker 9 is very good in the hands of a very skilled player, but if you're someone who's kind of middle of the pack or maybe 
not that great at the game, I would leave this gun in the vault. But one class that you should never leave in the vault is this Rival 9 right here, and just use these attachments on the screen. This class hasn't really changed since day one, maybe a few different things from a few different players, but this class right here is as consistent as it gets. We've seen the MCW receive multiple nerfs to attachments, we've seen the Striker receive buffs, but we've also seen the Rival stay there as a very, very solid option in the meta. In the Pro League, no one's using the Striker 9, everyone's using the Rival 9, and you could take that for what you will, but this is the class that you're going to want to use with it. Unless you're doing a challenge or you're just not taking the game too seriously, do not use anything like a Wasp or any other SMG that's available besides the Striker and the Rival. And like I said, in most cases, the Rival is better than the Striker. So this is the trusty Rival class. Moving on to the only secondary you should be using, the Renetti that is based all around movement speed. Now that the knife is a two-hit kill and it's not even allowed to be used in actual professional matches, the Renetti is the only real option that you're going to want to use. Make sure you put on these attachments. Yes, it only has three attachments on. If you want to add more, be my guest, but I really only pull this out if I run out of ammo on my primary or if I'm hitting a hard flank around the map. You can definitely get some kills with it if you're able to hit your shots, especially if you're able to hit neck to head shots, but try to avoid getting in a fight with your Renetti out because this thing is very, very inconsistent, especially if you're someone like me who, my ping's solid, it's okay, it's around 30 to 40 depending on the lobby, but sometimes I'm running into people with one or two ping and I have no chance at killing them with this Renetti. So again, at the start of a match, just pull out the Renetti, run to wherever you're going and then swap weapons and that's the best way to use this gun now usually on every class you're going to want to run a stun grenade and a frag grenade however sometimes if you're using a submachine gun you might want to use a semtex so that it can help you make entries into certain areas a little bit easier but i stick to the frag on pretty much every class and then the trophy system on every class with one exception and we'll get to that in a second but the perks you're going to want to use marksman gloves covert sneakers and eod padding if you're running an assault rifle if you're running a submachine gun run the same perks but swap the marksman gloves out for the assault gloves. The marksman gloves help assault rifles just stay steadier while you're shooting people. They help reduce flinch and things like that. While on the other hand, the assault gloves are going to help you be a little bit quicker and reduce certain penalties when it comes to running and gunning, which is what you do with a submachine gun. Now that Rio is in the map pool, as well as, I mean, there's just the fact that we're playing ranked and sometimes you got to switch it up. Things get stale and predictable. I started running the lightweight sneakers a little more often. Now in Search and Destroy, you're going to want to have two of the same submachine gun classes. One class with covert sneakers, one with lightweight sneakers, but both should have dead silence on. That way, once you have dead silence, you can switch to your lightweight sneakers for one of the rounds of Search and Destroy and get an easy, fast push into the enemy spawn, maybe a rush plant, and you'll just have to pop your dead silence field upgrade. That way, you're not being heard by everyone. Other than that, you're always going to want to run the trophy system, even in Search and Destroy if you're running an assault rifle, because there's a lot of grenades still to be thrown. I personally barely even use the covert sneakers on a map like Rio because it's such a small map you know that I'm gonna be there I know you're gonna be there so my footsteps aren't really a big deal I'm gonna pull out my lightweight sneakers and I'm gonna try to be the first one to p1 I'm gonna try to be the first one to p2 because that map is all about fighting each other anyway so I'm not too worried about being quiet but when it comes to something like search and destroy on terminal it's very hard to win offenses on that map especially when you're solo queuing so you're gonna want to put a smoke grenade on a lightweight class with dead silence once you have dead silence switch to that class use those lightweight sneakers throw a smoke on the a site or the b site whichever side run straight through it and try to either get the bomb down or get some kills it's one of the few ways that you can switch things up on a map like terminal so these are the main perk setups that you're going to be able to use and now it's up to you how you will utilize them and just how good you'll do with them and i've gotten this question before surprisingly so for anyone that's curious what vest to use it's ranked you don't have a an option to use the vest now in multiplayer i honestly don't know off the top of my head i'm sure there's plenty of good ones for public multiplayer but in ranked there are no vests these are the classes obviously you can change whatever you like to change but to me as you guys kind of could see from the charts i put on the screen i've done the math i've done the research i've checked quite a bit of different things and i think these are the perfect loadouts for different situations it's going to do it for the classes I, I don't think there's really much else that there will be to update for the rest of ranked in modern warfare 3 but hopefully they 
continue to add to the map pool and I kind of wish they would lift some of the bans on maybe like some of the assault rifles and things like that. I, I love Call of Duty League and I love the, the bans and whatnot in there, but we're playing ranked. We need something to kind of keep things less stale. And before I get out of here, I do want to let you guys know a series that I am starting up where I do my solo queue to Iridescent that you guys know I always do and I always solo queue. I'm always trying to help you guys who do solo queue. But a lot of people in the comments of my solo queue videos don't believe that I actually solo queue every game. So I'm going to just prove it. So a couple times a week, I'll be posting my experiences. I'm already about to be in Crimson. So there will be some videos here very soon. So I'm going to show you guys my painful but possible experience getting from Crimson to Iridescent. Now, I don't know if I'll hit Iridescent this season. If the series does well, I absolutely will. So turn on post notifications if you want to show up and show support for that. But honestly, if you guys aren't too interested in watching that, I, I doubt I'll hit Iridescent. All the hackers that, that are running around. But apparently there was an update to Ricochet. So maybe there will be less hackers this time around. We'll find out. And you guys will be there for the experience along with me. If you're curious where I've been this season, I've been playing Ranked Resurgence where I hit iridescent i didn't solo queue my whole way there but i did solo queue through crimson and it was a nightmare but if you guys want ranked resurgence content let me know down below i'll be happy to post that thanks so much for sticking around guys i appreciate you we're on the road to 50k subs if you're new here hit subscribe and let me know down below if there's a class that you're using that i'm sleeping on that i should have put in this video let me know what it is and i'll try it out for a video i've been reddix and i'll see you guys soon